Yo, check this out. We also got this to review. All right, you can pick this up at same place you can pick up these gummies, man. Pick them up at 3chive.com. Oh, by the way, if you're going to go to 3chive.com and buy this, you might as well use my user code. All right, right where it says coupon or user code, type in Don's Tech. That is so easy to remember. Don's Tech. Type that in and you will save some money. What's wrong with that? Each one of these bags is 20 bucks a piece. These cartridges, depending on which one you go, they're about 25 bucks all the way up to 50 bucks. But this little order right here, that's a hundred dollars, right? Four four small things is a hundred bucks. If you use my username or my user code. All right, you're going to save some money. And why not save some money, right? 3chive.com. Check it out, y'all. What's going on, guys? Good to see you again. Question. Do you need to upgrade your servo? Of course you do. Duh. Well, I originally got down this path because the stock servo burnt out. That was fun. So I bought a different servo that was a little bit better, had like 200 and some ounces of torque, 16 seconds, turn radius or speed, you know, metal gear, that kind of thing. And it's done all right. Up until the other day, uh, the steering got a little bit jammed and it just, it burnt something out. What will happen is, is I'll go and I'll use the truck for a few minutes and then all of a sudden the steering will just go to the left and it will stay to the left. It will not turn back right. It won't go to center. Um, so I was like, yep, time to get a new one. So I spent a little bit more money. This is a little bit of a prettier penny. Okay, let's go ahead and take a back side of it. Look at here. Now this has 400 ounces of torque. 360 ounces or 445 depending on how many volts you're going to run through it the timing is 0 0.16 0 0.145 and 0 0.13 i like the old days when they when they didn't put all that crap they would just put 0 0.15 0 0.8 that was so much simpler now maybe it's the same you just like get rid of that first digit and then that's what you got 0 0.16, 0 0.14, and 13. Uh, this was like a 70 something dollar uh, servo. But this thing blew my mind when I opened it. I did not expect what I was going to find when I opened this servo, dude. I was just like, whoa, this thing is, I've never had one like this before. Let's open the box. There we go. Man, it smells good. Nice and has that new car smell. All right. The actual servo is metal. This part. This whole thing is made out of metal. I've never had a servo that was completely made of metal. Usually they're plastic with metal gearings inside, kind of like this one up here. Or the bottom half is metal and the top half is plastic no 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 with this this whole thing is aluminum the top and bottom 633 mcw cordless metal gears so this is what i'm thinking about doing we're going to swap it out but i kind of want to see the difference so i'm gonna plug it in real fast and then we're just going to do a left a right a left and a right kind of get an idea of it and then we'll pop this one in and then maybe go left and right left and right you know it's also really small for an eight scale rated servo oh, i thought that maybe it'd be a little bit bigger a little more beefier i guess not maybe it's just me i don't know maybe i should overkill it and put it in the grasshopper that'd be kind of cool right Man, I've been busy today. I've been trying to get up all the baby powder that was all over the freaking place. So I had to basically re-clean the entire garage, take everything off, wipe it down, put it back up. Uh, it was 
a nightmare to do. Got all my chargers and stuff set up over here, getting ready so I can charge my batteries. And then I got the lipos in the back, chilling in their protective cases. Refrigerator working good, nice and cold. All right, let's plug it up. Let's see what happens. Let's left, right, let's see here, left, right. It definitely jerks it hard. All right, yeah, not bad. All right, well, let's plug the other one in. I know this is not the way that you want to compare servos. I understand that. That's not the traditional way. Um, I don't have time for traditional. Look, see that? The servo's already sticking to the right, or was it to the left? It sticks one way, I don't remember, but you can see that it's not its not on center. It's, it's starting to stick to that side, so that's why we're replacing it. All right, let's put the new one in. We went ahead and got our plugged in correctly. Now we're just gonna get all our cables tucked. I wouldn't recommend putting this, the receiver cover back on just yet. You still need to make sure that this works and that it works properly. So that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna make sure that it's seated down. We're gonna put our screws back in and then I'll put this back on and we'll find out where we are. We also need to set the new trim as well. I can't help but think that it's it's definitely quicker. It definitely seems to be uh Our servo is not exactly tight. I need to recorrect that. Alright guys, yeah, alright, that was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video. That was, I like my new server. It works great, no complaints. Uh, if you guys are into Delta 8, you know, check out the link below. I can save you some money on some edibles, on vapes, anything like that. Why do I not have front? Look, I don't have left real drive. See that? I only have these three tires are spinning up. Watch. See? That's. See it? That left side's not spinning. Why is it. Oh, that's nice. Why is it not spinning? Oh, I bet that damn pin in that one way broke loose again. Son of a crap. Man, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Fix and repair daily. It's a Ford. It must be a Ford. Fix or repair daily. All right, I'm getting out of here. I gotta go clean this. I got another video coming out here soon, guys. I hope you guys like that video too. And I'll see y'all in the next one.